All right, Cancer, let's take a look at what we got going on for you guys. The song I got on Shuffle was God is a Dancer. I don't really know that song very well, but what I'm getting from it is that um, uh, the one line is like, take it step by step. Also, if you haven't noticed already or you didn't catch my announcement, I am actually no longer doing these based on time. I'm still gonna release three a month in case you're on the subscription service for the extended. There'll still be three a month release, but I'm just not gonna put a time frame on it because I'm in a phase of my life where I really don't think time like exists. Everything's kind of, you know, based on when we do our certain things, based on the energy we're in. So that means like, you know, this can resonate for whenever you listen to it. It's not just a specific time frame. So with that being said, this is what is in your guys' energy, what's coming up in the energy for Cancer right now. God is a dancer, take it step by step. Um, that's kind of like that divine timing, you know? Um, or knowing that your higher self, God, the universe has, has a plan. God is a dancer. So let's get three oracle cards for Cancer and see what is going on here. What is up for Cancer? Focus on success. So all you have to co concern yourself with, I feel like, is where you want to go, the success that you want to have, um, the experience you want to have. And just keep living in that in every present moment. So let's get two more. Be patient and laugh at your demons. I feel like that laugh at your demons has been coming up. I don't know for who. Maybe it's been for you guys. But the be patient is like everything... There's no, you know, gosh, that kind of goes in with my time thing. Like, especially, like, I love that quote. There's no rush on forever, especially if you're in a connection with somebody and it's not going as fast as you'd like. Like, just remember that, you know, enjoy that those moments because the beginning of the relationship is the most fun part or those moments of uncertainty. That's the fun part. Once you're, like, in it, it's a new like it, it, so don't rush the don't rush the falling process bottom of the deck we've got two of pentacles so this is about prioritizing and balancing and juggling your priorities like juggling things with ease um so you could be you could be feeling like you're in a balancing act or feeling like you're trying to like build momentum but it's going really slow but what you're actually doing is building some kind of stability and you're you're cohesively balancing whatever it is that you're trying to put together so if it is a connection it's like you're building this stable foundation and i feel like there's this feeling of stability this feeling of communication that's backing this up you could be communicating a lot with somebody and maybe you're like, okay, I'm sick of communicating. I want something to happen here. But let's take a look. Overall energy between you and another person. We've got the five of swords. Yeah, so there we go. We got like some conflict and this could be overthinking. And that could be kind of why you want to rush the situation because you have a tendency to overthink things. And if it doesn't happen fast enough, you're worried that you're going to start overthinking. Um, or there's going to be some conflict, but there could be some feelings of defeat here. Some feelings of like arguing. Let's see. Let's get a clarifier for this five of swords. Queen of wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, this could be about, you know, you could be dealing with somebody who's a little bit hot, like, hot-headed not hot-headed but like they're very like fiery and that could be and like cancer honestly i haven't met a cancer who doesn't have like a temper um just gonna throw that out there haven't met a cancer without a temper so you could be dealing with somebody fiery and you guys could be kind of butting heads in that way 
Um, there could be some arguments happening here, but I feel like if there are arguments, it's based off of miscommunication. So in order to kind of settle things, there has to be like a lot of communication here. And it has to be like open communication, not just like communicating off the defense, you know? So let's keep looking. We got the Page of Cups. Yeah. Um, there could have been an argument here. And there might be like an apology because we got the Six of Cups. So there might have been somebody that you had a disagreement with. And you kind of left feeling defeated and you're wanting to come back in, apologize. This person actually does too. Like you both are kind of wanting to mend something here. Here with the chariot, it's like you're both wanting to move forward. There's your card. So you showed up in your own reading. But the page of cups and the six of cups, there's a lot of emotion here. And there's like a want, a want to reconcile on both sides. A want to apologize. Um, a want a wanting to understand I feel like this person's also like if you guys got into an argument you both retreated from this situation and thought a lot about reflected a lot on this argument and there's like this feeling of wanting to um revisit this come back together and communicate like you could be actually communicating like what went down here and kind of clearing up any of the miscommunications surrounding what happened so page of cups here let's see page of cups this page of cups doing here seven of pentacles there's that when i see the seven of pentacles for me that is about patience like patience and divine timing like what you're putting your work towards don't think it's for nothing like if something's gonna blossom here just keep giving it that love energy that emotions and i feel like you've been you've been working on something you've been working on something cancer so that this like it, if there was an argument here look at this temperance oh my goodness you and this person are mirroring each other so whatever this argument was i feel like what happened it was almost like you guys were both very stubborn and then you got in an argument and there could have been this feeling of like feeling defeated feeling like there was miscommunication on both ends and then you both went back and you did reflection and you balanced things out for yourself did some inner work because this person definitely did some inner work here too and there is this feeling of divine timing. Like it's almost like that trigger had to happen so that you guys could clear something. You went and did your work. This person went and did their work. And now you guys are ready to come together and make things happen successfully. Um, but you guys are both feeling a lot of emotions for one another. And you've both balanced your emotions surrounding one another. Interesting. So nine of swords here. Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so you could be walking away from this feeling of overthinking. Like you, you're really, you're really not giving in to that feeling of overthinking. Like you are both seeing like your value in a different way. You're both craving that kind of stability. This person's walking away from. Let's see, uh, what is this person walking away from? This person's walking because the Eight of Cups is all about walking away from what no longer serves you. This person is leaving behind something, something that, like I said, they went back and did their own self reflection, um, and they realized there's a quality about them that they kind of have to let go of in order for them to be successful in connections, in order that for them to gain this stability. Six of Wands, yeah. Um, they're walking away from this need to be victorious. Like, this person is the type of person who, like, needs to win. And I feel like they're walking away from that. They're walking away from this feeling and they kind of want to be more cohesive. Um, the Nine of Swords here for you. This is about overthinking, you know, because again, and that could be your demons. It's like your thoughts get the best of you. These negative thoughts get the best of you. King of Cups, your emotions. Um, kind of being 
mature in those emotions the king of cups the king of cups comes across to me like cancer being more settled and stable in your emotions not being so much afraid of your emotions because you have to realize it's really not your heart that's making all those uh, it's really not your heart that's like torturing you it's your thoughts your thoughts are what is the problem not your emotions you, you'd actually feel you'd actually navigate better if you gave way to your letting your yourself be guided by emotions versus like that overthinking because at least when we follow our emotions we are releasing, we're expressing, we're having these like moments of, um, you know, just enjoying, enjoying instead of overthinking and, you know, being, coming up with these negative thoughts. And I feel like that's kind of where that focus on success needs to come in because there is success here. There is a potential for a commitment here and you both could be kind of concerned about that. It's like you both want the same thing, but in the past you were playing it almost like a game. And you both kind of had to do some analysis on that. So we've got the moon here, which is Pisces, but you guys are ruled by the moon. So I always associate the moon card with Cancer as well. Um, the seven of wands and the tower. Whoa, 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 whoa. So look at this for both of you. I want to know who this is because this person is mirroring you to a T. Whether you know this person or not, I really feel like you know this person. If not, this person's going to have gone through all this too. And you're going to feel like you're talking to yourself. I don't know. Uh, but the moon card here is like some illusion you had that was keeping you from moving forward. Not there anymore. Um, not there anymore. And this tower card, this person had something blown up for them as well not there anymore something that was keeping them from moving forward tower moment boom done let's see moon card why is this moon card here so it's almost like some kind of illusion you had the world yeah came to an end there's some you went through an ending you went through an ending and it's like in regards to your thoughts and what you've what beliefs you've created. I feel like you're seeing beyond that now. You're like, oh my God, that's not the reality. That's just kind of, especially if it's like you're afraid to move forward in love, you're afraid to get hurt. It's like you're starting to see beyond that illusion of like, oh, that's not real. That's just my fear talking. Like I need to let my heart lead me and I'd rather kind of Give myself the opportunity to feel versus like living in fear constantly. And this person has had kind of a similar awakening. So let's see why this tower card came out. King of Swords. Yeah, they're seeing the truth. They're seeing the truth of a situation. They're seeing much more clearly now because they've done their work. You've done your work. And now there's this feeling of being able to move forward and actually being like ready and open for a commitment, not just like a, a little game in which like who's going to be the winner, who's going to be the loser type of thing, you know? And it's like once you shift that energy, this person shifts too just because like if you're coming at them like a chess match, then they're going to come at you as a chess match too. So it's going to be an energy. So, and I only say that because, you know, we control our realities. We always do. We can't change other people, but we can change the way we navigate things. So if you want to be more open, um, either this person's going to fall in line with that or you're going to manifest somebody else who is going to be more open, less mind games. But you have to take the first initiative. That's the one thing I always hear guys say. Or like guys who are my friends, they're like, well, I only play games because she play game, plays games. I'm like, then either that's not the girl for you or you need to set the precedent by just being open. And then if that girl still wants to play games or that guy still wants to play games, then see you later. So um, unless you're really, you're interested in playing games, you know, it's like doing that self-analysis. 
but you have done some kind of self-analysis and I feel like you're ready to move forward. Your person's gonna move forward too. There could be potential for commitment here. So exciting stuff. In the extended, I'll look more into who this person is, like what they want, what they've cleared up now, um, what message they have for you, advice from spirit, um, what's happening unexpectedly for you, plus what's blocking this. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box and I will see you guys there. Bye.